hamburger juice. It's your boy, Smoke Screeners Prime. I'm back. All right, so this is about the Madden Arms from the Revelation. I'm not going to do a, uh, he can do this, he can do that, none of that other stuff because a lot of people have already done it or some people have already done it. What I'm going to do is a comparison. Sorry, my camera's off a little bit. A comparison from this man at arms to what a lot of people want or have searched before and the classic man at arms. So, I will say this, the Revelation Man at Arms is a great figure. If you're unable to get this Man at Arms um, right here, um, uh, still a great figure. I myself, I kind of prefer this Man at Arms because it has a lot more um, texture and it has a lot more going on um, with it. That's just my opinion, but this is still a great man on his figure. Also, man, one thing, um, it, he doesn't have anything to hold in the back. That was one thing I didn't like. I wish they hadn't kind of cheaped out um, on that, but it's not it's not a deal breaker this is still a great figure but what i'm going to do is show you um what i did with my man at arms if you hadn't seen on the ground so the heads are swappable um uh, bring it up close the heads are swappable and you know the weapons can be held and um by either or so what i did was i just popped this head off pop this head off i put this head i put this head on this body and i did not put this head on the other body what i did was take a soul the not a soldier but the old school man arms head without the mustache and I put him on this guy to make like another soldier and then I took the mace that came with him gave it to man at arms so you see he has a couple of maces right there so kind of have it so that he's like a uh Kind of like in training but he's still a soldier so i didn't really have the weapons for any more extra weapons for the palace guards so what i did was i just took these that are from that came from the gray skull casco of the origins they're you know a little smaller temporary uh, fixes again like I said temporary fixes just so he can have some uh, some weapons and bam got another soldier got man at arms so I got his head kind of high and I pushed down all the way to fix that So, I like the way this man at arms looks now with the classic. Again, Revelation figure is still great. I just like the face sculpt better on this one compared to this one. It's more reminiscent of the 2000X line. And now I'm going to show you what he looks like, or what they look like with the rest of the guards. So this is how they look. I think they look pretty awesome. The new face scope, or new head I should say, with the troopers. 
And with that head right there, he looks pretty bad. He looks pretty bad as I must admit. He looks good, they all look good. I took away that uh like spear weapon and I gave him this other mace that was from like the 2000 X man at on. So the color is off but it's still it's still good. Like I said, my thing he's like a you know a young man on in training coming up. So of course King and the Queen over there. Oh Adam look like he hiding. Focus. Of course, that's the Adam from the 2000X. And a lot of people had issues from Revelations using, well, making Adam all smaller. But my thing is, yeah, on the 80s cartoon, because I grew up on that one, yeah, Adam was buff. So my thing is, if you're trying to make it believable that Adam is not He-Man, it needs to be a drastic size um, difference along with you know other features so making them small and kind of wimpy looking it only made sense to me people are having attitudes and I don't know why but let's get off of that back to him in arms I think he looks awesome with the classics um, mold and he looks just as good um, like I said, if you can't find the classics figure, the Revelation ones is, is good as well. So, thank you for coming out. And like a fat kid in dodgeball, I'm out, baby.